Hey everybody, welcome to Fit Tip Tuesday. Today I have the pleasure of doing a Q&A for a subscriber that's also a member of an ASG group that I taught for a couple years ago. I think they changed their, their name, but when I went, it was the Walnut Creek ASG in California. I had an amazing time with these ladies. They were so friendly and we did yoga pants and t-shirts and everybody had a really nice time. Um, and so Donna emailed me a question about her tea pattern. And I'm just going to say it's not my tea pattern, but I still want to help her out here. She did a high round back and did a beautiful job. So I've adjusted a half scale pattern to show you what she did to get her high round back to fit. And then she has an additional issue with her shoulders. I have the ability to show you um, what the her pattern adjustment looks like compared to what I'm going to show you, plus how her adjusted back looks and what it looks like now at, at the shoulder where she needs some help fit, fitting it. So let's get started. So this is the back and this is primarily what we're going to be working with first. And I want to make it so you can see. Okay, so you can see here that she did a high round back and I'm going to put up her pattern side by side so you can see. So you can see here is her pattern and it basically looks exactly like what I did here. She's done the high round like I've shown in previous videos and I'm just going to highlight it in pink so you can see. She slashed, okay, like where these pink lines are and spread at her center back to get the amount of extra length she needed to get the neckline to sit where it's supposed to be and it's very flattering and nice. Okay, so I just wanna show you. Okay, so all of this pink was what she added. And I'm just coloring it in just so you can really see what's happening here. Um, I'll put a link to a video where I show how to do this high round back. Okay, so that's basically the adjustment she did. And then if you don't want a center back seam, you can you can reestablish your grain line. And you can see right here she did that by adding this wedge here as well. Okay, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. It depends on the fit of the pattern, the fabric you're using. This is a knit, so it's very forgiving. Um, but sometimes when you straighten this out, it sort of cancels the adjustment out that you did because you're straightening it back out. I mean, it's still adding length, but sometimes you get a funny thing at the neckline. So um, if you're going to straighten your center back seam or center back edge out so you can cut out on the fold, just check and make sure it's working. And you can see in Donna's case, it is working. So I'm just gonna put up the picture of what her T looks like after she did this high round back. Okay, so from the back view, you can see that it looks really nice. So now let's take a look at Donna's front view. And you can see what's happening is the shoulders are picking up at her neckline, okay? The other thing that's happening is the sleeve is falling off her shoulder. So basically, I'm very happy to report, there's two easy adjustments you can do to fix those two issues. The first thing is, the slope of the shoulder is wrong for her shape. If you look at her actual shoulder underneath the T, you can see she's got a pretty straight, um, or parallel to the floor kind of shoulder shape, and it's very similar to the one that I have. So. Um, that's how I think I was able to really recognize that very quickly. You can see here, the peak of the shoulder, okay, is a little bit too high. So what you can do if this is happening to you and what Donna can do is she can pinch out the extra length um, at the neckline and make note of it 
and let's say it's, I don't know, it looks like it could possibly be, um, I don't know, three quarters of an inch, half inch, three quarters of an inch, whatever that is, you're going to make a mark, okay, and then you're just going to redraw your shoulder so that it flattens it out like that. And from the look of the photo, it looks like she needs to adjust the front like that as well. So the back shoulder is now adjusted, okay, and it's it, the slope of it is going to lay on her shoulder nicely. Okay, so I'm going to bring my front in here. Okay, so in the front, she's going to do the same thing. Um, she's going to, whatever she pinched out, and it may be that it's a little bit different front to back, so you just kind of want to see. Um, sometimes it's it's good to unsew the shoulder and then pin it back together so it's sitting at the center you know, along the center of your shoulder. And so whatever you need to take off, you're going to do the same thing here. You're going to mark what that is, and then you're going to redraw the shoulder like this. Okay, so that's how you fix the first problem. Now the second problem is her shoulder seam is too long because the arm's eye seam, you know, the seam where the armhole is sewn in is down here, it's off her shoulder. So you need to measure the amount that you need to pick that back up. And the best way to check that is to pinch it in the middle of the shoulder until the armhole or the sleeve comes back onto the ball of your shoulder. And so the amount you pinch is the amount you have to shorten. All right, so let's say we have to, we can pinch out, let's say a half an inch. All right, and that picks the picks the armhole up onto the ball of the shoulder. What you're going to do is you're going to draw yourself. Let's do this in a different color. I'll do it in a nice royal blue. So in the middle of the shoulder, I'm going to draw a vertical line, and I'm going to draw that vertical line until I reach. The middle of the armhole where it's pretty straight you don't want to it's easier to true it up if you go through a you know a part of the armhole where it's straight so the next thing I'm going to do is mark that half inch you know that she needs to get rid of like that then we're going to slash that And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to slide that right in, okay? And what that's doing is it's shortening the shoulder, okay? Now, you can see here we have to true up the armhole because there's a difference between Here's the armhole below the adjustment. Here's the armhole above the adjustment. I'm going to find the middle, which is about here, and then I'm just going to dash in a very gradual shape like this, okay, to recreate the shape of the armhole. And it should be, it should be a very similar length. I don't think you'll have to play with the... Um, with the sleeve cap at all, but you might want to walk it and make sure it still fits. But that fixes that. And then also we have a little truing up to do on that shoulder seam. You can see here it's slightly off. So I can just reconnect that. Okay, and that completes the adjustment in the front. But because we shorten the shoulder in the front, we also have to do it in the back. So I'm just going to bring my back back in here. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to draw a vertical line and a horizontal line. You know, I'm going to mark that half inch. You may, no, you may notice I'm only doing 3 8 on this example, and that's because I'm using this small half-scale pattern 
um, but on a full size pattern you'll have no trouble getting that half inch or whatever it is that you need. All right, so then again, I'm gonna cut this out. And I'm just gonna slide it in. Okay, and I'm keeping the bottom edge where I slashed it even. I'm not like changing the depth of it at all. I'm just sliding it in. We're gonna true up the armhole the exact same way. I'm going to find the center. You know, then I'm just going to connect that and connect that. Okay, so that fixes the armhole. And then we'll just true up that shoulder. All right, so that would be the completed back. And just let me cut it out so you can see the final shape here. With all the other stuff we don't need. Now notice... One of the reasons why I wanted to cut it out in addition to showing you more clearly is that it may be that the center back of the pattern is getting really close to the height of the sh tip of the shoulder at the neckline, um, the tip of the shoulder seam, I mean, at the neckline. That's okay because remember, when you fill it in with the shape of your back, it'll lower it. Okay, so if it looks like the center back edge is getting to be almost as high as the shoulder at the neckline, don't worry, because your the curve of your back will fill that in and it'll straighten it out. All right, so that's what the back looks like. And let me just quickly cut out the front so you can see what that looks like. All right, so here's my front. Okay. So that's what they look like. Now the one other thing I would do, anytime you play with a shoulder length, it's always a good idea just to double check to make sure that your shoulder seams are still the same length and you have a nice C shape. So if I close that off, you can see I have this little bit of difference here. So I think what I'm gonna do is just skim it off to match Okay, and then what I'm looking for is a nice C shape. You don't want it caving in like that. Okay, so if it's doing that, let me know and we'll, you know, we'll see what happened. But basically, you do want to have a nice C shape. So if you overlap the shoulder seams so they're overlapping and the stitch lines are matching, this is what you should end up with here. All right, so... That is how to fix this shoulder problem. Okay, let me just remind you what we're fixing. The, it's picking up at the neckline and the sleeve is um, off the shoulder. Okay, so I hope Donna this helps you. And if anybody else is watching and they have a similar fitting issue, I hope this helps. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below and I will help you. I hope you have a wonderful day. On Friday, I'm going to start teaching for Stitches at Home this weekend. I'm super excited. If anybody has been enjoying the Bernina L460 Serger Manual videos, I am teaching a basic serger class that's designed to get you up and running if you haven't looked at your serger in a long time or if you're new to serging. So I'm going to put a link to the Stitches classes in the description below because you don't need a kit for the serger class. I am teaching my yoga pants class on Saturday and Sunday, and there are a few spaces left in that as well. And I just want to remind people, if you didn't get into the Sew Expo class that I taught a month ago, because it sold out twice, this class is going to be even better only because it's divided into two two-hour classes. So on Saturday from 2 to 4 Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be teaching part one. And then on Sunday, I'm teaching part two. So it gives you time in between the two classes if you, um, you know, if you need extra help or extra time to fit and cut out your pattern pieces, you have that time. And I will be available between those two classes to help you via Zoom um, if you're really stuck. So I will put links to all that below. Um, I will do a quick FabFit Friday at 1 
but it's going to be short because I'm teaching it to um, the surgery class for stitches at home. So if anyone has signed up for those, I will see you this weekend. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, and I will see you again soon.